Absolutely not, Laura. I, I think John Barillara has been a great leader and uh, we need leaders like him right now. Uh, uh, with a million Australians uh, unemployed over the past month, uh, now's the time for us to build as a nation and John is a proven builder in New South Wales. He's building dams, building the Wyangala Dam, uh, building rail lines uh, and he, he, I hope he keeps doing that. In fact, uh, I'd love him to reconsider and still think about a tilted Eden Monero because I'd love the Nats to, to run there because uh, we need builders like him in Canberra too. Well, he says he won't change his mind, but do you think that you and others might be able to convince him? Well, I, I'm certainly encouraging him too because, as I say, uh, I think this is a time that we need uh, people like John in Canberra to cut through the red tape, the, the hurdles that are thrown up uh, against job creating projects in this country. John's proven that he can do that in New South Wales uh, and uh, it'd be just the tonic we need uh, in Canberra right now uh, to do that as well. Uh, it's the Nationals Party that are supporting projects like the Inland Rail, mm. supporting projects like the Adani Mine up here in central Queensland. Thank God we've got those jobs uh, at this time. Uh, and it's the Nationals Party that are get behind the dams and other projects we need uh, to, to rebuild our shattered economy. Uh, so that's why I'd love to see the Nats run in Eden Monero and, and obviously John would give us a, a very good chance of winning that seat. Are you a lone voice in encouraging him to reconsider or is there a significant group of nationals who are doing it both publicly and privately? Well, well I can't speak for, for others, Laura. Uh, obviously, uh, my good mate uh, David Littleproud said similar things to what I'm saying yesterday. Uh, oh, look, I'd expect though, all, all Nats to be supporting the best candidate for the area that can win us the seat. That's what um, you know, we want to do as a party. Obviously, we want to grow because uh, politics is a numbers game and the more numbers we have, the more we can deliver uh, for the people of, of regional Australia. And now is a real important time to do that. Uh, so, so a lot of us were uh, excited about that prospect. Uh, a lot of us were disappointed that, that John decided not to run. I understand that, I respect that decision, but obviously circumstances have also changed in the last uh, 24, 48 hours. So who knows, Laura, there might be another twist in this movie yet. <laughs> there, there very well uh, could be. I wouldn't put anything past the Nationals at this point. But Matt Canavan, I, don't you have a problem here when you're encouraging someone to enter the federal parliament who said he will never recognise Michael McCormack as leader? Oh, look, Laura, I, I mean, I, 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 first of all, first of all, uh, uh, I don't comment on private conversations I have with other people, so I'm not going to start commenting on a private conversation I wasn't even involved in, and, and we're going off media reports here, so I'll let the people involved no, no, speak we're going themselves. off text messages. Second of all... Yeah, sec John yeah, Barilara all, well, has been uh, given opportunities yeah. to retract that. Um, he says he wants those text messages to speak for themselves, so he obviously feels quite strongly about it. Yeah. Don't you have a problem? Sure, with sure. I just, I just don't want to... Don't wanna, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to give uh, the impression that I was. I was agreeing completely with the premise there. But, but be that as it may, I accept the point you're making. And 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 we've all got thick skin now in politics. I mean, a few months ago, I was calling for a change of nationals leader. Right now, I, I thought that the the party should move in a different direction. But I've got on with the job as a senator for Queensland. And and what's important is what we do for people, uh, not what we think of each other. Uh, and as I say, uh, what John has done for the people uh, of his seat of Monero at the state level. Uh, has clearly uh, uh, been been well regarded. He won every booth at the state level. Mm -hmm. He won a won a city like Queenbin, which is a tough area for our side of politics. But uh, uh, I, I know I worked on his first campaign. He's a great local member of parliament. Uh, I'm sure he'll continue to be successful at state level if that's what he chooses. But it also have given a, give a great shake to Eden Monero if he decides to run there. As you point out, it was just three months ago that you were seeking a change in leadership at the federal level. You wanted to see Barnaby Joyce rather than Michael McCormack. That was not successful. Uh, given that you're now encouraging John Barillaro into the parliament, why shouldn't people see this as another uh, kind of tilt or, or, um, or shot across the bow of Michael McCormack's leadership? Well, what I'm focused on, Laura, is delivering those results. As I said before, uh, what I think we need to focus on now is, is building the country, rebuilding our nation, rebuilding our economy. And, and uh, uh, the, the, my, my entire interest of supporting and encouraging someone like John is I think he'd be uh, a, a, great, uh, a, a great colleague 
uh, in the battle to do that. And it will be a battle, it won't be easy, because there'll still be all these types of people telling us all these types of reasons about why we can't build mines, why we can't build dams, uh, why we shouldn't build rail lines. Uh, and we've got to have uh, a team of proven fighters in there uh, getting that crap out of the way uh, so we can get things done again in this country. Would you encourage Michael McCormack to endorse John Barillaro now to get behind him in encouraging him to sit for Ida Monero, given that seemed to be what the big problem was between the two men? Oh, well, look, I, I, I uh, as I said last week, I, I would expect Michael to support uh, someone like John to have a crack. Uh, uh, I'd expect our leadership to get behind whoever's the best to win that seat and it's supported by the local nationals branches. Uh, uh, I know a lot of the local nationals branches down there, they love John Barillara. I'm sure they'd get behind him and, and then uh, obviously be incumbent on all of us as, as Nats to support, support him. Uh, as I say, it's, it's not about who we like and who we don't. Uh, it's about delivering what is best for the people we represent and what, the, what is best uh, for regional Australia is that we have proven fighters like John in senior positions uh, who can defend the interests of country Australia. Can you understand how your supporters are perhaps looking at what's gone on in the last four months with uh, the leadership challenge three months ago and now this, that perhaps the Nationals have been more focused on themselves than actually the people you're meant to be representing? Yeah, well, I disagree with that completely, Laura. As I said, uh, up here in central Queensland, uh, uh, we've turned things around in this area. It's been neglected uh, for a century uh, by the Labor Party because it was taken for granted by them. Uh, but now we're building the Rookwood Weir just down there. I'm just on the Fitzroy River right here. It's a beautiful body of water uh, passing through Rockhampton. We're building the Rookwood Weir on this river, the first major water infrastructure in the Fitzroy uh, for 50 years. Mm. Uh, this, this where I'm standing right here is the second largest water catchment after the Murray-Darling in our country. It has one major dam on it. We've got to do more of those things. So now we're fighting... Uh, for things like the Nathan Dam, the Connors River Dam. As I said, we've got that Adani mine going. That was a huge fight. That's up and running. Uh, we've got the investments at Shoalwater Bay. That's what I'm focused on doing, and uh, 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 that's what we're delivering here uh, and around the country with other projects as well. Uh, but our extent and the ability to do that is limited by the numbers of the parliament, and that's why I'm passionate about getting those numbers up.